and welcome to Today I'm basically going to do how to go from 0 to 100 and to glow up in winter when, let's be honest, we're all absolutely pasty, looking like ghosts. This is going to consist of me doing a makeup to talk about how to get your hair looking nice and curled. I'm also going to share with you my tanning ritual, tanning routine. I don't know even know if you could call it a tanning routine because uh, I only use tinted moisturiser. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you get some inspiration and I hope that you turn into the boss bitch that you deserve to be. You know, we're channeling like New York City girl boss vibe. Let's do this. Howdy partners. What do you think of when you think girl boss in New York? Authentic New York City girl bosses probably just have beautiful natural nails. I can't say that I have the same. The woman was too stunned to speak. Okay, I'm going to get my nails done. It is so cold, my nose is running. <laughs> well, that was a success. And they're actually really cute. I got them a slightly shorter than I usually do. So this is literally the end product that I use. It's my holy grail. It smells of apricots. I even put it on my face because look how pale I look. Look, I, I'm the same color. I actually get the deep sun kissed glow white look and you just slap it on. The only problem with this stuff is that it's sticky as hell when it goes on. I also get a lot of questions on how I do my henna freckles. So I use this henna. I'm not sure. It's off Amazon. This is literally what they end up looking like. I leave these on overnight and I take them off in the morning. And welcome to the makeup portion of this video. I, what I do first is I make myself not look like I'm going to die okay so here comes the little voiceover segment of this video so for concealer i use l'oreal paris um the true match concealer and i use it in two shades i'm pretty sure they're 4n and 1c um and then i also use the powder i th i actually think this one's in 4n as well the shade um and then i take my trusty hula bronzer and i literally put this over every ounce of my face to stop myself looking pale and to contour um honestly this is like one of the best products the hula bronzer and then i take the collection blush in the shade bashful and i'm pretty sure this is quite cheap and i just put it in the cheekbones you know um and then I take a little eye contour brush and contour my nose. And then I do that with the hula bronzer. And I also just put it over my eyelids as well. Like really rough, not well done. And then I take the number seven palette. It's one of their new ones. And I take this shade and I use it as highlighter. Even though it's in eyeshadow. But sometimes you've got to multitask um, with your makeup products. And I do use my finger. Because sometimes your hands are the best tools, you know? Who needs a brush when you've got your fingers? Um, okay. Um, then I take the Benefit Brow thingy, the spoolie with the, with the product on it, the Super Brow, I think. And I put that in my eyebrows and I just brush through them. Um... And then I take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. Take these two shades and I do a little eyeliner thing. But I do it with eyeshadow because I feel, I feel like it's less harsh than actually using a proper eyeliner. I don't know if anyone else finds that. But yeah, I take it down below my eye, replicate it on the other side. And then I take an Anastasia Beverly Hills brush and I just sort of fluff it out so it's less harsh then I take I think that's a collection one a collection lip liner it's really old 
um, and the shade number has rubbed off. Um, and then I take a slightly dark one, which is actually an MUA one, and I put it on the outsides of the lips. Then I take, this is the best product I've literally ever used for eyelashes. It's the volume lash, the volume lash thing by Rimmel. And it just makes your eyelashes so, so nice. And then that was me just putting Vaseline on. Um, and there you go. This part of the video is me doing my hair to look like this. Also, I put my robe on. Where the fuck? I got a lot of comments being like, how do you do your hair? But here we go. I'm pretty sure this is quite cheap. It was the Lee Stafford hair curling tongs. I don't really know what I'm going to talk about while I do this because it's pretty self-explanatory. I'll tell story time. The other day, my dad's van got broken into, right? But the funny thing is, my dad's a window cleaner, right? So his van, there's literally nothing in it that's remotely valuable. It's just tanks of water. So imagine if you had like decided to break in to someone's van, you open it and it's just like huge vats of water. You'd be well disappointed. One thing I would say is with the front bits, curl them like individually and away from your head. Otherwise, you're gonna look most people in a glow up video would go and get their hair done at a salon but do i'm broke love does anyone else do this where they just use the heat to like push the hair out that is how i burn my face ta-da thought i'd show you maybe a better view of said hair some blue going on Obviously, we need a really nice outfit for a glow up. I was doing all the scroll through the old Pinterest and I found this outfit. And we're going to recreate it. So for the jumper, I this is actually my granddad's old sweatshirt. It's a bit dirty, but let's just pretend that's not there. This is from Active. It is an extra extra large and then for trousers i went into town the other day and i went to primark just on a whim and i found these trousers and they sell them in black as well so i might have to go back and get them but they are just like sort of like these flared trousers here in the pinterest picture she just had little white slick trainers on so my trusty white air force Ta-da! Do I look like the Pinterest girl? So that's it. Thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you also went through the process of making yourself zero to a hundred. Hot girl winter should be a thing. Stay tuned for the next few months because so I'm going to be posting little Christmas vlogs throughout December. Thank you guys for watching. Love you lots.